Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. In this edition of IG's Macro Intelligence, we take a look at the outlook for interest rates amid the rising cost of living pressures. Well, inflation is the key metric for investors and central bankers at the moment. The quarterly CPI print released in October will be crucial for the RBA as it assesses whether or not the current cash rate of 4.1% is high enough to quash inflationary pressures. The RBA has a flexible medium-term inflation target, which aims to keep consumer price inflation between 2 and 3% on average. However, rising costs keep driving inflation up. Rising global oil prices are putting pressure on the prices we pay at the pump. The spread between US crude and Brent prices is at the narrowest since April. And fuel prices have been marching upwards due to those oil supply cuts and the weakening Australian dollar. The Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD, recently released its interim economic outlook warning of persistent high consumer prices around the world. The OECD estimates core inflation in Australia will average 5.9% this year, up 0.4 points from its June estimate and at 3.3% in 2024. The organisation, which is now headed by former Australian Finance Minister Matthias Cormann, recommended that, quote, monetary policy needs to remain restrictive until there are clear signs that underlying inflation pressures have durably abated. Well, economists at the big four banks remain split over whether the RBA is done with the rate hiking cycle. The RBA has been maintaining its tightening bias but has softened its language over time. Money markets are pricing the RBA cash rate currently at 4.1% to be three basis points higher in October with a 100% chance of a hike by March 2024. The RBA left rates on hold this month but the NAB is not predicting that this will be an extended pause with one more rate rise forecast from the lender for November 2023, taking the cash rate to a peak of 4.35%. CBA Westpac and the ANZ see 4.1% as the peak, with cuts priced in as early as December next year. And that is your IG Macro Intelligence for this week. We'll see you next week.